I'm Pierce Alexander Lilholt, and if I know one thing, it's rugs. That's right, I know all about rugs. They call me the rug man, because I know all there is to know about rugs. So if you want to know about rugs, well, let me tell you. You came to the right place. You came to the place with the guy who knows all about rugs. That's me, the rug man. So before we get started on talking about all the different kinds of rugs, let me go over this word with you. Pile. Now, it might not sound like a good word. Like a pile of junk. Like a pile. It's not good. Actually, when it comes to rugs, that's what you're looking at. You're looking at the pile. And that's all the little loops that come out of the rug. So all those little fabric loops there, that's the pile. Um, there's high pile and low pile. A high pile rug would be something like a shag rug. So the different pile is going to make the different rug. I'd say there's maybe five different piles. There's velvet, Saxony, Frise, shag, and cable. And I'd say there are, well, there's a lot of different rugs. There's a lot. There's so many. And I know about all of them. But to keep this video under 758 hours, I'm going to go and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them into three different categories for you. Let's go over each one a little bit. I'll start with, I'll start with all three so you know what we're getting into. There's accent. That's the first one. Then there's area. That's the second one. And then there's wall to wall. That's my favorite. That's everybody's favorite. That's the big kahuna in the rug game. That's wall to wall carpeting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's save the best for last. I'll save that wall-to-wall -wall carpeting talk for last. So let's start with an accent rug. What is an accent rug? Well, a lot of people confuse an area rug and an accent rug. Don't make that mistake. That's a rookie mistake. The rug man would never make that mistake. So an accent rug, a lot of times that's, yeah, it's because you want to see a rug there, you know? I get it. A little accent rug. Hmm. Nice little rug over there. It's not something that... It's like the appetizer of the rug world. You, see, you get the uh, accent rug. Hmm. Okay. Accent rugs could be any very small rug. Some might even consider a doormat to be an accent rug. There's a lot of... Uh, in the rug game, there's a lot of talk about that one. I'd say yes. Rug mat, doormat. It's a type of rug, accent rug. Definitely size wise, that would be accent rug. And it is like an appetizer. You come up to the house, you see that doormat. It's welcoming, sometimes literally. You're liking it. And, you know, the, and you see it. it's good. Ooh, wow. Nice doormat. That's what you're thinking. Hmm. That's a good one. That's a goodie. I like that doormat. Then it's just like an appetizer at a restaurant. Ooh, wow, that's really good. Aroused my appetite. Same with the doormat. Ooh, that aroused my appetite for another rug. I really hope when I walk in this room, they've got an area rug in there. Or a runner if there's a hallway. Yes. Yes, hey, there could be multiple courses there. And then I hope there's some wall to wall in there. Really bed my appetite back down. Mm. Just thinking about that wall to wall. Ooh, yeah, that's good. So the next size up is going to be your area rug. 
Now, personally, I say, go big or go home. If you're going to get a rug, get the real deal. Get the wall to wall. But I get it. You know, that's a lot of time that that's going to require a professional installation. That's going to require substantial investment. It's also probably going to require you to move a lot of furniture. It's a great thing to do if you're first moving into a house. If you move into a new house, before you do anything, my one recommendation is to get that place totally carpeted. Even the bathrooms. That's right, I said it. Carpet your bathroom. And do it before you move all your stuff in. And if you don't have any stuff, well, I guess you can get carpeting anytime you want. As long as you got carpeting, you got all you need. Now, the accent rug, okay, that's... That's for show a lot of times. The area rug, now that's going to, if you compare it to food, that's like the sandwich. It's good. Consider it a meal. Consider it a meal. Nobody's complaining about a sandwich. It's not, you know, it's, it's not fine dining, you know. It's, it could be. could be a very nice artisanal sandwich. There are oriental rugs could be one of the best sandwiches you've ever had but it's not you know the five course dinner with um amuse bouche you know that'd be the little frills on the edge of the carpet there it'll do the trick though and i'll tell you this you know what an area rug is always an improvement and I'd say if it's no rug or area rug, well, then the choice is obvious. It's area rug. And it's going to do a few things. It's going to it's gonna help insulate. Your temperature is going to be a lot better. You're going to love it. You're going to be comfortable. And one of the biggest benefits, besides the comfort of just lounging on your luxurious area rug is sound dampening. The sound of that room that may have had a hardwood floor in it before or whatever, it's going to be much nicer. It will subdue those, those sounds that are bouncing all over the place. And it'll be a lot nicer if you have guests, lots of people. Can't have lots of people without a rug. If you're gonna have a party and you don't have a rug, then cancel it. It's not even worth having. Now, I did save the best for last. I'm getting excited. I'm talking about having a party already. Well, you can't have a party without a rug. And you know what? If I was going to have a party, I would have wall-to-wall -wall, wall -wall carpeting. I, just, I couldn't have a party without wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. You got to be kidding. Wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, that makes the party. Wall-to-wall. Now, wall-to-wall -wall carpeting is the best. It's the Cadillac of carpeting. It's the Rolls-Royce of carpeting. Depending on the carpet, it's the Ferrari of carpeting, whatever you want to call it. It is luxury at its finest. It's going to make you want to take your socks off and feel the pile. Speaking of the pile, let me get into that for a second. Well, there's a lot of different materials you can make the pile out of. Let me just name a few for you. I'll go over just a little bit of it because there are there are so many materials you can make these piles out of. But I'd say wool. That's a big one. That's a biggie. Wool is huge. Silk. Woohoo! Yeah, that's fancy. Mmm, silk rug. Uh, cotton, can't go wrong with cotton, keeps you cool in the summer. Nice, cool rug. Um, bamboo, mmm, yes. Very sustainable. That's a nice fiber. Comfortable. Leather, yes, that's right. Leather rugs. And that could be a fur rug, zebra, whatever. That could also be fake fur. You could have a fake fur rug. Um, 
for more demanding stress environments, maybe an outdoor rug, things like this, you might go with polypropylene. Now that's good rug material, nice and solid. Give that rug a beating. Um, and then, you know, nowadays you're seeing a lot of, um, seeing a lot of microfiber and polyester. Now I gotta go back to the classics personally and you know, I'm a wool man. I'm a wool rug man. I'm the rug man and I'm a wool rug man. But I'm also a, uh, I'm open to all rugs. I don't discriminate. I do not discriminate. If you've got a rug, you're already a step ahead of the game. If you wanna up, up the game, you go with wool. You always go with wool because you can't go wrong with a 100% wool rug. And it'll change your life. Tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look for my top three picks on wool area rugs. Because I know some of you aren't going wall to wall with, with your rugs yet. You're not at that level yet. You're not at my level, my wall-to-wall -wall level, because that's how I roll, okay? I roll the carpeting out. That's what I mean by roll. Pun was intended. Only rug people would have gotten that pun, though. And I'm going to put my top three picks for rugs down there in the description. Click the links. Check out those three rugs. And I'm going with wool. I'll also put in put in a mystery rug link for you guys and it's just it's a special rug I just thought of it it's a good one and it's just a fun rug and that rug sometimes you just have a rug that's fun and you know what maybe you pull it out when it's party time pull it out on special movie night that's your fun rug you don't need your rug out all the time but when you take your rug out enjoy it if I know one thing about rugs you gotta love them. Oh yeah!